Yeah, hello, how are you? It's your friend Arnold coming in today. You had an evening filled with whiskey and smokes and Stormbreaker, you know, because I double as an Oscardian, you know, it's Australian, but Oscardian. <laughs> yeah, you, would, you wouldn't get it. No. <laughs> yeah, I've got my cool little lighter here. It doubles as a defensive weapon. I like it. I use it to light everything from birthday candles to a gasoline smoked Molotov cocktail. You know, you name it. Anything. So today I'm going to reviewing one of the most badass villains to ever don the Marvel Universe. And that's Thanos in his quest to collect jewelry from the Home Shopping Network. There's Miss Marvel, pretty nice. So we open up to our first page and Thanos is trying to do the watermelon challenge on Thor's head. And so he says, give me the Tesseract and then I'll spare your brother. But then Loki says, go on, kill him. I don't care anyway. So then Thanos uses Michael Jackson's glove and he holds it against Thor's head and he activates whatever kind of powers that sequence glove has it looks like it's hurting him so maybe he's playing billy jean or a song that he doesn't like through his ears and then loki says no that song's terrible stop playing it i'll give you the cube but then he says oh yeah we have a hulk so the hulk bull rushes thanos and thanos lets him know that he's the mike tyson of all the Eternals, and he just manhandles him. Thor, he tries to run over, but then this very wrinkly guy that looks like Charles Burns from The Simpsons ties him up in some metal. And then you have this guy. He's going to pretend like he's Scotty from Star Trek. He's going to let, you know, the hate flow through him, just like in Star Trek, whenever... Luke became a Jedi and he defeated the Romulan Empire. And so he's going to send him back to Earth. And so Thor, he's mad because he just sent the Hulk back and that's his friend. And then looks like Loki, he's trying to charm his way to Thanos because he's a very sexy man. But then all of a sudden he changes his mind, tries to stab Thanos in the nose. Or give him a, a nose job just like Michael Jackson had. And Thanos isn't having it. So he kills him and he says, no resurrections, no respawns, no nothing. And they're just like Konami games when you had three lives. And then you go up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, start. And then maybe you get infinite lives. But then Loki didn't have time to do this. So he dies. The banner goes down to Earth. Well... Professor Stephen Strange is trying to order a sandwich and then he lands in here. He kind of looks like me. <laughs> yeah, you just put a little smoke there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's a handsome man. <laughs> yeah, so Wong, he pulls up all the crack stones he's been smoking because Tony's wondering why everything looks so psychedelic. And he's like, look, it's these stones. It's the rock. They've been smoking the rock. So he shows all six of them. If you smoke all of them, you can become the most powerful man in the world. He's explaining this all to Tony. When then some something caused a disturbance in the force. So he goes outside. Sees there's a vehicle without registration tags. And so he's going to go ask for their license whenever he gets smacked in the gut. So Spider-Man comes to help and he says, Hey man, uh, what's the problem? The problem is he's getting smashed. Anyone could see it. So anyway, the fashion police came and they're going to tie up Stephen Strange because he's wearing a cape. And anyone who's seen Incredibles knows you don't wear a cape. Remember what happened to Thunderhead and Syndrome? They got sucked into a plane and they got disembobulated. So Iron Man has to go up into space.
because the bug is now in space. And then he gives the bug a new suit because Tony, you know, he's very fashionable, likes the newest threads. So he gives him some new threads so he could be on the cover of GQ magazine. So he opens up the passageway. Looks like Spider-Man comes back. Looks like this lesser version of me in the comics is going to make a phone call while Wong tries to rustle up a tuna sandwich. And then we go to the Guardians. Looks like they're jamming out and they run into Thor. And so they're all admiring Thor and how big his muscles are, but they've never seen mine. <laughs> never seen my muscles. And so Thor jumps up and they're like, who the hell are you? And he's like, who are you? They're like, I'm you. No, you're me. No, that was a movie I was in. Never mind. So he's talking about how sad his life is because he's trying to hook up with Gamora. But Star-Lord sees his plans and he jumps in and he's like, you know, you know, I had some bad stuff happen to me. And this is my ship. And so Thanos, I mean, Thor looks for a beer, but there's no beer. So let's move on to a page where maybe there is beer. Then they decided instead of going somewhere, they go nowhere because that's where Thanos is going to be. Then we have this love story. It's kind of sick. Makes me want to bath. And then they say Tony's been missing. And then, oh, wouldn't you know it? This guy is trying to be like Jason and Friday the 13th. He shows up, stabs this guy through the chest. Ruins her plans. She was looking to get laid. And now her boyfriend is mortally wounded and probably can't get it up. And, you know. It's a robot dick anyways. And then as they're fighting, someone comes in, but we don't know who. You'll have to find out until next time in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Now go home, light up a stogie, go to the Rebel Radio podcast, and drink some damn whiskey to put some hair on your chest. <laughs>